You can color code emails and meetings in Outlook using something called conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is part of your view, so it doesn't actually change the email itself, and it doesn't actually change the meeting itself. It just says, take all of these emails, take all of these meetings, and show them in a particular way. So one example of this might be to color code emails as they come in from individuals. If I click on this email from James Howlett, for example, and I see that his email address is jhowlett at outlook.com, I may want all of James's emails to show up in a bright red color. To do this, we go to the View tab at the top of the screen and click on View Settings. As you can see, we can do grouping, sorting, filtering, etc. But three buttons from the bottom is a button called conditional formatting, which is what I uh, spoke about a second ago. If I click on the conditional formatting, you can see here that in your email, there are email rules already in place that says, for example, if an email has not been read yet, go ahead and make it bold. Or if an email has expired, you might go ahead and make that gray and put a slash through it, put a strike through through it. And so in the same way, all emails from James Howlett might turn red on me. So I click on add over here on the right hand side and I name the rule after James so that it's easy to recognize this rule when I go back and I look at it. And by clicking the font button on the left, I can decide what the emails are going to look like including the fact that I might want them to be uh, semi-bold, for example, and I might choose for the color to be red, and click OK. But at this point, I have named the rule, I have told the rule what it should make the email look like, but I haven't set up any conditions yet, meaning it does not know that I want it to look for James Howlett. So I click on the Condition button, and in the From box, I put in James Howlett's email address. And when I click OK, and click OK, and click OK, I'll immediately see all of James's emails have turned this bright red color, and they're also bolded. And that is conditional formatting in your inbox. You can make this exact same thing happen in your calendar as well. If I go to my calendar, I might look around and see something like, OK, some of my meetings mention the word sales in them. So maybe all sales meetings should turn green and all client meetings should turn yellow, something along those lines. I'll repeat the same process from before, clicking on the View tab at the top of the screen and clicking on View Settings to open up the new dialog box, where again we can sort or filter or do other things to the view, but right now we're focused on this third button from the bottom, Conditional Formatting. I click on Conditional Formatting, as you can see, there are no rules yet. I'll click the Add button, and I'll call this one Sales Meetings. And maybe all sales meetings should turn green. So I choose the color that's going to be presented in this calendar. I give it a name. Again, the name is only relevant to being able to understand this when I come back and look at it later. But the most important part is being able to set up the condition. I click on condition and I say to myself, you know what, in the subject line, it will say the word sales. So I type the word sales into the search box, subject field only, click OK, click OK, and click OK. And now every email that mentions sales in the title has turned green on my calendar.